all right y'all we are back with another video and here we go again old corrupt whoopie goldberg from the view which we know all of them are corrupt now this one right here coming from doug now he uh dropped this one and said that whoopie flips out screaming at the view host sunny hosted and joy behar only make it worse and it seems like to me you know anytime somebody um agrees with donald trump on something for some reason it pisses whoopie off she don't like anybody coming on the show that agrees with donald trump we all remember how she did judge janine and judge janine still her ground and yell back at her as well but i just didn't like the way that you know that the view just let her just just go ballistic on people who uh like donald trump so i'm trying to see did Sonny Host and Joy Behar, did they agree with Donald Trump on something? Because that's about the only way I can see Whoopi always just trying to find a way to get mad. But yet she'll sit on that show all day and talk about Donald Trump. Like you talking about you don't like him, but yet you talk about him every single day. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like she should have just stayed making movies. I feel like that what Whoopi was best at doing ever since they gave her this show. She just feel like she can just talk to people any way she want. And I don't like it at all. This is the reason why I do not watch the view only time I, I i might i just do a video on them here and there but just watching it i can't watch that crap but like i said we're gonna dive straight into it make sure you hit that like button uh subscribe to the channel shout out to everybody showing so much support everybody been leaving positive comments in the comment section i also want to thank everybody who clicked on the video for the very first time i appreciate all of you i will leave the original video in the description make sure y'all go show doug some love all right and uh let's go ahead and dive straight into this and let's see exactly what happened Whoopi is mad. She's beside herself, shrieking about uh, being stuck with Biden. Hmm. You're their view host. They're trying to play it down, play it down. It's not going to work. No. So the chicken has come home to roost. And they're realizing, holy cow, we're stuck with this guy. Welcome to Doug in exile. This is where all the happy patriots are. If you're happy and you're a patriot, unlike Whoopi Goldberg, this is where you belong. Yes, he's old. Okay. So she's gotten beyond the denial hmm. stage. That's good. But the minute he stops being productive, and this sounds terrible, but the minute he stops being able to do his presidential duty, he's got to go. Forget doing his presidential mm. duty right now. He can't finish a sentence. It's okay. But I'm not, I'm not advocating for him to go. I'm advocating for people to not dwell on the fact that he is an age that we cannot change. Whoopi is getting caught up to the rest of planet Earth that age only goes in one direction. Hmm. And Biden's on the wrong side of it. By the way, every time we bring up age, we don't mean age. Okay, so let's lose the whole we're against people's age thing. Right. Heard this over and over again. This is about basic competence. This is about basic presence. Age does not play into that necessarily. I've met 101-year-olds that were more present and peppy than Biden. And I've also uh, known 40-year-olds that were impaired that were less capable than Biden. That's right. So it's not age. And if he's 18 months ago, if he's bad now, you know, I, I need to see that. And if you don't see it, I got to wonder what you're using besides your eyeballs looking at Biden. Whoopi, you, you need to see it. Do you need more evidence? Because I don't want to just chuck him out. <laughs> chuck no, him out because he's a, old. Not because he's old. And that's, that's a good it. point because what they need to be doing to get, the White House needs to get away from this narrative by putting Biden out there. Yes, let's get <laughs> Biden out there. No, Get him out there. The, the White House knows exactly what they're doing, not putting Biden out here. And here, uh, Elisa Farrah Griffin is talking about how Biden got a free Super Bowl interview for million worth millions of dollars that he turned down because they know that would seal the deal as far as losing his entire campaign. So it's time to play hide the Biden. It was malpractice that he wasn't at the Super Bowl. It was the most well, watched event. Since yes, the it was. Landed. But how many oh, people did he speak to? I still don't understand what she's getting at on that this one. This is crazy. They made a decision because everybody bitches him on it. He's so old. He's not on TikTok. He doesn't know. So now he's on TikTok. Everybody's still mad. Everyone's still mad that Biden's on TikTok. 
because he's still mentally impaired. Right. See, they, they're not angry that he's not on TikTok. That's a symbol of something else. Everyone's anger at Biden is a symbol of something else. Like they're angry that it's not they're angry at his age. It's not that they're angry that he's on TikTok. They're angry that no one is driving the car of America. Daddy is not awake. Yep. So he went to them instead of going where everybody wanted him he's, to go. He's do he's trying to get this stuff done. He's trying and he's <laughs> failing. Oh my he god! Makes I just about it. Yeah. I mean, I I just I I know we are in dire straits. I know we are in dire straits. Now we're in dire straits. I'm glad she finally admitted it because that means the party begins, guys. When they're finally, oh yeah, they're desperate. They They're may. In dire straits, dire straits, dire. Let that sink in. That means Trump is winning. Yep. No amount of snow and frosting over it. Ah, they're in dire straits. Just listen to your enemy. Listen to them. They're fleeing and screaming. They're throwing down their weapons and screaming. Ah, ah it's <laughs> dire straits. This is up to the voters. If the voters decide they don't want Joe Biden, they're deciding they want that other guy. But and I, that is that is the, that is the decision that the voters are going to make. Yeah, they're going to decide that they want the other guy because before they were lied to about the other guy and this guy. They were lied to about Biden. Yeah, they were given like a cardboard cutout and going, "We swear Biden is young and peppy and hot," and so mm -hmm. they went for him in 2020. And they were told Trump was a criminal, and now they realize exactly. That's the reason why I said that before, that they lied. Talking about how Joe Biden uh, was for everybody. He was going to do the right thing. Then they said they lied on Trump. Talking about he was a criminal. They said Donald Trump didn't like black people. I remember all of that. And that was the reason why I said that's the reason why I feel like Joe Biden had won in the first beginning. Because a lot of people that was going around saying that Trump just didn't like black people. Like he was racist toward black people. And so that's what I figured uh, happened back then. But right now. It seems like Whoopi is just upset. She still won't even say Donald Trump's name. She always say that other guy, or she always prefers Trump as a you know who. Like she won't even say the man's name. Oh, if, if voters don't want, ain't gonna vote for him, they gonna vote for the other. Just, just say Donald Trump name. We know that's who you're talking about. You can't stop talking about this man. That's the problem. It seems like it just pisses her off. Every time Trump wins, just like when Trump beat Nikki Haley, it just it just pisses them off. They always got something negative to say about Donald Trump every single day due to the fact that he's winning. That's the problem. That right there is what they don't like. That's what they don't like. They can't stand to see Donald Trump win in anything. They know he's finna be the next president. That's why they panicking. That's why they mad. That's why they bitter. I can, we can't have it time out. Oh, uh, they wanted Joe Biden to get a TikTok. Now he got one. They mad. Don't nobody care if Joe Biden got a TikTok. Who cares if Joe Biden got a TikTok or not? Who cares? It, see, like Doug said, it has nothing to do with uh, Joe Biden's, the thing about his age. You got to realize Trump is up there too, but look but look at Trump. Trump knows how to finish sentences. Trump knows how to talk on the microphone. He don't need help or assistance from anybody. He know how to get off the stage. He know where he's at. He don't just be in mid-sentence and forget and be like, oh, oh, I forgot, and just say all type of crap. That right there is what Joe Biden does. Trump don't do that. So, like, we got to stop the crap. It ain't the point about the age. Cause like I said, you can have somebody that's 40 years old that could be acting like Joe Biden. Like I said, Trump is up there, and he's always laser-focused. You can put Trump on the microphone. You know how Donald Trump get on these microphones like he was at, like, New Hampshire and just, like, talk for a whole hour, hour, 30 minutes? Joe Biden couldn't do that. He'll be tripping over sentences. He'll forget where he's at. And that's the difference between him and Donald Trump. Trump. Like, come on. That's the difference. Trump know how to finish sentences. Joe Biden don't. You think Joe Biden can get on the microphone for a whole hour and a half, two hours, and just talk? No. Is that Trump got scammed 
and that people put the wool over their eyes about Biden, that this guy is a psychotic guy that is not, mm. not good for America, opened up three wars, uh, retreated in Afghanistan, lost our embassies, inflation up, economic disaster, food disaster, yep. oil drilling disaster. Mm -hmm. It doesn't get much worse than Biden. <laughs> yeah. Not necessarily given all the information, but it is the best information they have. They weren't given and the information. And another thing, almost 22,000 illegal immigrants coming across the border every single day. That's why Mallorca's just got impeached last night. Hmm. And Joe Biden is next. They got to get him up out of there. Like I said, I don't care who they try to swap him out with. I don't see anybody being Donald Trump. And that's just how I feel about it. Information because they were fed a bunch of propaganda by you people in media. And millions of people feel completely politically disenfranchised right Alyssa, now. Alyssa, that that's ship, gonna be that the ship has hurt, sailed. Yeah. This is what you've yeah. got. Joy bringing a little reality and this is what you got. I don't think she realizes that Joe Biden isn't going to be running. A fascist... A stupid fashion. It's not about the choice. You have, you have and here comes Sonny Hostin, related to slave traders, calling Trump a stupid fashion. I often say that calling Trump a stupid fashion when she just found out that her family was slaveholders. Just what I'm saying. It's the, it's the hypocrites in these folks. These folks are just straight hypocrites. She, this woman, literally, time she just found out that her family was slaveholders. Your family owned slaves, and then you want to get on here and try to talk crap about Donald Trump. What? Y'all see what I'm talking about? Like, Sonny Hostin need to be quiet, man. Just who has zero fascistic tendencies to him. Okay. Uh, where did Trump spy on people's emails and their Twitter accounts mm. and send the FBI after pro-lifers? Where did that happen, Sonny? Related to slave traders, Sonny Hostin. Mm -hmm. I actually am a Biden fan. I knew you were a Biden fan because you're a blonde elite millionaire who lives on the coast. The people who are going out to make these votes, this is on them. This is on us. This is on well, us. Well, we'll so, vote. Well, I would hope so. But you know what? A lot of people say they will, and a lot of people are not going to tell you who they're voting for. They won't tell you who they're hmm. voting for because they're afraid of losing their job if they tell you they're voting for Trump, which is why he tends to under poll and overperform. People are gonna be and prevented from voting because of voter suppression. And that's another thing that Republicans do when they can't play to win, they, suppress. they cheat. Holy smokes, did that come from a Democrat's mouth? <laughs> oh my goodness. So but Trump hey, hearing a Democrat say that, listen to this crap Sonny Holson just said. If they can't play to the win, they'll cheat. No, that's what the Democrats are trying to do. Which is why you think they're trying to get these illegal immigrants across the border to get them registered so they can just vote straight Democrat? Why you think that Joe Biden just went to a black family and fed them fried chicken just trying to convince them to vote for him? I know a lot of y'all seen it. I, I might end up covering that video. But Joe Biden, uh, Joe Biden went to a black family, went to their house, bought fried chicken, and then turned around and, and told the kids, I know y'all like orange soda. He's <laughs> like, come on, trying to com trying to uh, convince black people to vote for him by feeding them fried, fried chicken. What? But for, but for Trump to say, if, if NATO doesn't pay their bills, by the way, does Trump pay his bills? <laughs> uh, you know, do they pay their bills? Does Trump uh, pay his bills? Um, it's lazy. It's just like you just throw the word, does Trump do does. whatever? That's crazy. And then that's supposed to be a well-written joke. Does Biden pay his bills? Do Biden pay his bills? Biden probably don't even know how to pay his bills. Trump is a billionaire. Trump ain't got to pay his bills. His bills pays himself. <laughs> bills? Does Biden's oh, son pay his taxes? That was easy. <laughs> See, if I had a professional writer like Behar here, I would not be feeding you these low rent dollar general jokes. For him to say, if they don't pay their bills, I don't care. Russia can do whatever they want to those countries, NATO. That should be a warning sign to everybody out it there, is. including the Republican Party who are sticking with this criminal. Yeah, I'm sticking with the criminal because when you tell NATO... Uh, we're going to let Russia do whatever they want with you if you don't pay your bills. Guess what happens? They pay their bills. Yep. Trump already proved it. It's called a tactic. And you girls are all falling for what Trump says instead of what he does. He's right. trying to get them to pay their bills. And in getting NATO to pay their fair share, he's going to save NATO.
you dingling. Yep. You're working against the one guy that can keep NATO from going insolvent, and you just don't have the wisdom to say that he's two steps ahead of you. Which <laughs> That's crazy. Shout out to Doug, man, uh, for another great video. It's like I love covering these videos, especially like when Doug do the videos about uh, whooping them. I love doing my reaction to them because I know they finna say something stupid. They always do. They always got some stupid or some racist to say about Donald Trump. Just like Joy Behar type of she, after he beat Nikki Haley, he she went on air time out. I hope Donald Trump, the way we can beat him, I hope he choke on a cheeseburger. Like, come on. They, they didn't win this far wishing death on this man. They don't want him to win that bad. That's why I said my prayers go out for Donald Trump because these folks are crazy. They are crazy. They are willing to just do anything to win at this point. But uh, like I said, thank you all for watching. Be sure to hit that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel. And uh, if you go on that show, man, you better not agree with Donald Trump because at the point you would think that uh, Joy Behar don't finna agree with Donald Trump a little bit and whoop it, <laughs> whoop it sitting over there just ready to yell and scream, you're fired. Like, I believe whoop you'll get somebody fired. You agree with Donald Trump while she on air. But uh, like I said, thank you all for watching and I catch y'all in the next one.